Hello guys, welcome to Sand Town and for today's episode, I will be doing a garden tour. The last time that I did a garden tour was last February and that was almost a year ago. And since then, many of my plants have grown big and organizing the garden has become a challenge because I needed to repot, to eradicate and repot these plants. But at the same time, I also lost so many plants, especially the rare ones that made me quite sad. So I no longer buy rare plants. My focus right now is to focus on the design to create a space that is relaxing and beautiful. It doesn't matter to me if the plant is expensive or not as long as they look good in my garden and that they complement each, each other. And I want to make sure also that if I'm going to get another plant that it has to be suited to my climate and that it is easy to take care because it is quite time consuming to focus on plants that is very difficult to take care if the climate is not suited for them then it will require for you to do the, some extra work just for that particular plant I've placed the fiddle lime on a plank there so it could easily transfer to the wall and I also placed some smaller plants on that area so it can get rain on and I just relocated them there and I also chopped the shrubs, the trees so the smaller plants can get air and I removed also the hanging plants on that bar so that the plants underneath it could get a lot of light. I do have a net there so the light there is filtered. So I made sure that there's nothing blocking the light. So I have here the Majestic, the Plumani and the Pastisanum and they're doing good you have to make sure that the temperature for this plant is sufficient because they tend to get dry when you place them in a non-humid area and i have here some of my alocasia Two of my strongest alocasia, which is the Green Shield and the Amazonica. Most of my alocasia have died already, but except for those two. Then I placed some of my random plants there. Then I have placed also some philodendrons on the window of our comfort room and they are getting a lot of humidity there which they love and here are some of the plants on the side some of them are training to climb on the wall by placing the plank leaning on it and here are some of my philodendron golden calkins which is a very beautiful and easy plant to manage. Uh, this is my Bob C. It is a very beautiful plant with its long petios and the uh, Mexicanum. Those two are quite easy to take care. And I think I need to repot them, but the area roots are just all over the place then here are the silver hastatum, diefenbachia mayoi strawberry shake there's the aglanema this is the black knight one of my favorite 
there's it got this very dark leaves and this is the choco empress this is the angle of my garden from the back area it is quite lush now and here is my gloriosum which i propagated after a few months it produced some sprout already i propagated it because the plant was very droopy already then i hang some of my philodendron like this distantive lobum because the petals are getting long and they are taking so much space on the ground and this is the santa something i hang it on the tree because for the same reason that it's getting a lot of space on the ground and this is the back wall of our house and i placed there our my philodendron gigantinum and melaloni those are my two biggest plants and one of the earliest they are very easy to take care as well just like this red rojo which is catching up in size i don't know what's the maximum size of it then this this i think this is lemon lime philodendron or green orlando lemon lime i think it's, and there's the painted lady and the radiatum i placed them on a plank and lean on the wall so they could just simply transfer once they get grow once they surpass the pole then i have an aquatatum and the epi flame that surpassed the wall already and i also bought several fruit bearing trees at the back so because the arrows cannot stand the direct heat so i place a fruit bearing trees then uh, this is the sanadu i i cannot pronounce the name but it's no longer a philodendron so that's it guys that is my garden tour and this is just the part one and i'll be seeing you on the part two next week thank you for watching and goodbye